Well, you're gonna say that this Pokemon needs a buff. I could tell you that right now. Hi, everybody. Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Ye to the ha. It is that time. A new Pokemon has released into Pokemon Unite, and it's time for me to tell you whether or not you should buy the newest Pokemon. The newest Pokemon we are talking about is... Gyarados, or Magikarp, as you will see it played by your allies. This is one of my favorite releases in a long time for so many reasons. I, first off, love this Pokemon. I'm very excited to have it inside the game. It's a super unique release, and I really, really like that. Okay. I had some games with Gyarados that were awesome. We did like 130, 140k damage and stuff like that. Like really dominated. There's a build I like. I think Dragon Breath really feels like the way to play this Pokemon. Even though there's some cool stuff with Aqua Tail. And then I like Waterfall for its second move. I know some people were preferring Bounce. There's kind of a cool combo there. That's all well and good. And there are some great things that happen with Gyarados. I love its early game because it's like you're playing a mini game that no other Pokemon gets to play. I'll talk about that more in a minute. I also had a game where an ally of mine did 5,000 damage. I know what you're thinking. Whoa, Jake, 5,000 damage in a single move? That's pretty incredible. What move was it? And I understand why you may think that. Or you also might be thinking, hey, Jake, didn't you do this exact same joke on stream when it happened? Hush. The whole point is, they did 5,000 damage <clears throat> total in the entire game, in the entire match. I don't know if I've ever seen a number that low that wasn't intentionally trolling the game. So... What do we do about Magikarp? Well, let's get into it. The beginning of the game with Gyarados, you start out as Magikarp and you have to fill your effort gauge up all the way so that you can evolve. If you do a couple of smart things early, you can evolve really quick. I evolved to Gyarados twice on stream at level four. I managed to get a couple of quick KOs on my opponents. It's very difficult to do. They had to be, you know, they were trying to stack. They were out of position. I jumped in and I was able to pick up a KO on them. When that happens, man, it's like you're Tyranitar at level four, which is really, really cool. Now you're not exactly as powerful as that because you're still a level four Pokemon, but you get a big stat increase. You get both of your moves. It's just such an amazing feeling. Now there are a lot of games that don't really go that well and enemies can notice that it's really difficult for you to fill up that effort gauge and they can punish you for that. So Magikarp's early game is tricky. Again, it's like a mini game that no other Pokemon exactly is playing inside the game. There are a few ways to fill your gauge. A couple big ones are scoring. Like if you score over 10 points, it fills your gauge a lot. If you get an assist or even bigger, a KO, you fill your gauge in a massive way. So if your team decides to gank your lane, you know, when you're in the central area, uh, excuse me, when you're in the top or bottom lane and they're coming from the central area, that could be huge. You just want to be involved in that fight so you can make sure that you're actually able to do something, get an assist, or even possibly get a KO. A lot of your allies are not going to be able to do this. And they have designed a Pokemon that unfortunately could grief your team super hard. And I don't know what they're going to do about that. Um... First of all, I think a lot of players are going to play this and be like, whoa, this is hard. I'm mad, which I, I think is fair. Look, we've been uh, taught to play this game through liquidation and icicle spears. So I understand that some players are going to have some trouble with this. Uh, I think they're going to be buffing this Pokemon. So as I often talk about with a should you buy video, I talk about whether or not the future for this Pokemon looks bright or if the future for this Pokemon is grim, as in we're seeing some immediate nerfs for this thing. The last few releases have all been on this cycle in different ways. You know, we had Mimikyu, Blaziken, Meowskarada, Metagross. All of these Pokemon have been released kind of varying degrees of that and then they've all been buffed metagross recently just got its buffs meowscar they, they all have received a round of buffs and for whatever reason this seems to be the new norm inside of pokemon unite and i don't see it changing until legendaries hit the game very soon but i don't see it changing until then which is probably the next Pokemon. But I expected that Gyarados was going to release in this state. We kind of saw this on the public test server. 
it played like this on the public test server. I'm very curious to see how they plan on buffing this Pokemon because there are parts of this Pokemon that are actually pretty dang solid. Like I said, we were having some pretty good games, plenty of KOs, the Unite move is extremely good. I think if I were to wager, well, first I'll say what I would like. What I would like is for them to buff this Pokemon in some interesting ways, and the ways they could do that would be to just make everything in its kit way, way more fluid, way easier to use. I would like its combos to flow a little better. Right now, I feel like this Pokemon is a little, like, hitchy. It's a little like, ooh, 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 ooh. oh, I got to use my move. Oh, I kind of got stunned out of my Aqua Tail. Oh, I, I'm kind of going back. Nope, I, I, I got to continue my Waterfall, but I got stunned. It's just a little... Herky jerky, I think is the correct term. I believe I'm using that correctly. Uh, someone's going to have to fact check me on that, but I believe uh, Ma Magikarp and Gyarados's moves are incredibly herky jerky currently inside of Pokemon Unite. I would love to see quality of life changes like that, as well as things like making bounce more like Trailblaze from Meowskarata so you can move around when you use it, uh, making it a little easier to cancel Waterfall rather than just standing there for a moment, maybe making your moves combo better together so you can use bounce and Dragon Breath with a nice little animation cancellation or something like that in there. Uh, I think all of that would go a long way and then they probably will need to do something about Magikarp which is a little disappointing but in its current state it's going to grief people in ranked and it won't see any tournament play so I think unfortunately for their design which I do think is kind of cool and it does feel like it fits Magikarp and Gyarados I think they're going to have to do something to make this more worthwhile now it's possible they still give us the level of grief that we could have with Magikarp currently, and instead they just make Gyarados even better. I'm fine with a reality like that, but in general, this Pokemon is going to get a buff. And a lot of people ask me, should I pick up Gyarados? Is it, is it good? Is it worth it? Should I buy it? Is it viable? People ask this over and over again in different ways. And I think what people are really trying to ask at the end of this is, first off, is it fun? It is... But for some people, I think this is not fun. I So I, this almost cancels itself out. It's fun for me. I love this little play style. I think other people would find this to be very frustrating. Uh, so I, I feel like that's not a point in its direction. And then I think the next question they're asking is, is this thing pretty dang good? They're not necessarily saying, is this thing completely broken and I just win every game without trying on it or something, even though... Some people want that. Uh, I think when they're asking this question, should I buy it? They're asking like, is this thing going to be like really good inside the game? Am I going to feel good bringing this into a lot of matches? And I think right now the answer is no, you won't. Uh, you're going to have trouble with it. You're going to have some great games and some rough games. Uh, even if you're playing well, you could have some moments that aren't going to be that great. However, just like all of the Pokemon that have been released recently, this Pokemon has a bright future in front of it. Buffs are coming. I hope also some quality of life changes are coming for this Pokemon. There's no question that it won't sit exactly where it's at inside the game right now, even though it has some things about it that I think are really, really cool. So my overall suggestion on should you buy, if you felt like it was good to buy Mimikyu, Blaziken, Meowskarata, Metagross, any of those Pokemon, pre-buff that I would pick this up now. If you think, ah, I'm cool with waiting until they're a little bit better, cowboy, well, that I understand as well, and that would be a good time not to pick this Pokemon up. Uh, also, you know, just be careful out there, okay? Because a lot of people very soon are going to be upset to see that they have a Magikarp on their team. I just... I know how this is going to go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll have more uh, Gyarados stuff coming very, very soon. Love you guys. We did it.